Hello and welcome to episode 4 of in-depth uh, PC game uh, build. And in this episode we will be installing the RAM modules. And I have 16 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator uh, RAM modules, 4 gigabyte each. And these are running at, at a stock clock of 133300 megahertz. And, uh, Let's get started with installation. This will probably be the easiest thing to install on your computer. So here we are on top of my computer again and I will show you how to install the DIM modules. And this is random access memory uh, which connects next to your CPU and it does all of your task, tasks that happen on the screen of your computer. And let's just drop that out without forcing it. And this is the RAM module. Uh, it is huge and it has a really big heatsink. Yours, yours might be considerably smaller. Uh, but since I have uh, four modules and I will be covering all of these slots doesn't matter where I put these but if you have let's say two modules and uh, you would put like one of the red uh, one uh, you would fill both of the red spots or both of the black spots but not a black and a red spot and some people like to put a uh, red and red uh, or depending on your color but anyways further away from your CPU because that leaves more space for the CPU cooler and this module is installed this way you need to check the pins this is the shorter lane uh, as it is here and just check that those match then you open this pin here and this is actually a special motherboard because you don't push down the DIM module like you would do on other motherboards uh, which have identical sides for these holders and you would just push it down but on this one you actually slide it in which I think is bad because that actually forces these uh, plates to be slided in it might cause damage well it's not going to cause any damage but still not something that I find that enjoyable and that's why I don't like the ACES uh, motherboard slide in because it could potentially harm and if you're gonna swap out DDR modules uh, really often it's definitely not gonna be a good thing for your motherboard or for your modules and then you just repeat this step for every single one of the modules just make sure they're secured in I actually when I was building a computer for someone uh, this was completely new to me and it wasn't plugged in correctly and I spent half an hour trying to fix and see what's wrong with my computer why isn't it working why can I get it working and well, finally, I understood it was because of the really weird way you push in the DIM modules. There you have the third one. And then I have the fourth one. I'll actually show you some specs uh, at the same time. So, Corsair. 16 gigabyte 4 times 4 and so and 999 by 24 and 1.6 volts that's actually good to know you have the volts there on the side of the chip but some uh, some of these might not have it and you're supposed to set the voltages from your BIOS to what it is on the card or in the instruction manual or uh, if you're overclocking you're probably going to be over volting as well but then you know what you're doing most likely okay there all of the modules are in place and that takes care of the part of installing the DIM modules thank you for watching